subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel speed test this time the iphone 10s max versus the galaxy note 9 it's time to go and pick on someone your own size in the galaxy note 9 this is one of the closest comparisons of the year and apple is closer this year than last year as they have a phone that is definitely a similar size form factor let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three two one and let's see which one can get there first now the nice thing about the apple phone is you can just tap it with one hand whereas in the samsung you have to hold down that power button but that's no big deal and a lot of people are saying oh this 10s max including myself is giant it's huge yes it is for an apple phone but for note users this is par for the course this is something we've been using for years well at least the last few years anyway and you've seen the iphone 10s max was the win there on the boot up test just very very slightly not a landslide of a win like it usually was in the past where iphones would boot up seconds and seconds above the samsung devices so that was pretty close okay guys so let's go ahead and test out the face id versus samsung's unlock we're going to begin with the 10s max and you could see recognizes me and just swipe up and you're in so you do have to do two steps here for the 10s max but the face id does feel a little faster than the first gen but we'll have to test that closer that's just what i'm feeling um, i'm not saying it's technically faster but let's go ahead and see and you can see you can get into the 10s max so that is the 10s max unlock let's go ahead and test out the note 9 now okay so the note 9 doesn't require two swipes you can go ahead and just look at the phone and it will unlock with samsung's intelligence scan three two one And again, three, two, one. And you can see you don't have to do any swipe mechanism. Now, it's not quite as fast, I feel, as Face ID to actually unlock. But because you got to swipe, they kind of make up for the difference. So they're kind of equal when it comes to the unlocking time. But if you don't like swiping and doing a second step, you will appreciate Samsung's offering a little bit more here. Okay, guys, so let's see which one can actually get into the camera from the lock screen first. I'm going to swipe process here and let's go. And you could see very close. I think the 10s Max was slightly ahead there for that camera. Let's do that again. And you can see pretty close there. So this is no real big difference. You're going to be able to get the shot at about the same time on either device. So they both did well in that test. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at the application speed test portion. You could see everything is closed out for the 10s Max. Everything closed out for the Note 9. We're talking about... 4 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte version, A12 Bionic versus the 8 gigabyte of RAM, 512 gigabyte. This does have Snapdragon 845, Samsung Experience version 9.5, iOS 12. And over here, we do have Android 8.1. Let's begin with calendar. 3, 2, 1. You can see that looks like the Note 9 slightly. Let's go into calculator. Looks like the Note 9 slightly again. Let's go into clock. And you can see the Note 9's animation just a little bit faster. 1x animations on here. It would have been faster if it had 0.5. You can see the Note 9 wins in Twitter. So no wins so far for the 10s Max. And the Note 9 takes Snapchat as well. What about Instagram? Looks like the Note 9 takes Instagram as well. So let's go over here into the profile page where the 10s Max catches up and seems to load the actual pages very nicely on the 10s Max. But the Note 9 is still very fast there on Instagram. Let's go into WhatsApp. You can see WhatsApp is a win to the right. Let's go into YouTube. And YouTube is going to the Note 9 on that one easily. So let's go into the trending tab here on YouTube and see what we can get. And looks very similar on that performance. What about Amazon Prime Video? And you could see the Note 9 way ahead here over the iPhone XS Max. You can see opening the movie about the same Amazon Prime. And you could see very similar. Let's go ahead and open up this little ad right here. Note 9 seems to load that first. So this is really neck and neck, this performance here. But it looks like the Note 9 has a little bit quicker feeling speed. Let's go into Slither. Maybe Samsung's right when they say the most powerful phone ever they've ever made. And you could see Slither was a little bit ahead there to the 10s Max. And gaming might still be a win here for the Apple side of things. And Apple loads that one up first as well. And let's quit this guy in the hit play. And then you could see that playing the game, very similar affair. I don't have this one optimized for the full screen, although I could change that in settings. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 loads first for the iPhone hitting play. 
and looks like the 10s max is ahead again so doesn't seem like this is changing just yet where android games don't perform as well as iphone games so gamers you still might like the iphone 10s max more than the note 9 for just sheer volume of selection in terms of those games and performance wise so the iphone 10s max here loading up pubg mobile and we're still seeing some delays here for the note 9 and we're in the game already for the iphone 10s max but look at this load difference i mean this is an incredible difference so significantly better optimized for the iphone 10s max or just the iphone in general i feel like so the iPhone blows away the Note 9 there in PUBG Mobile. Let's go into Antutu. And you can see Antutu is a win there for the iPhone XS Max. What about Geekbench? And the Note 9 strikes back on Geekbench. And coming home, let's go into Speed Test. You can see the Note 9 strikes again. Let's go into Video Shop. That's the iPhone XS Max right back at you. And what about Camera? And you can see very close so i think based on this single row of apps it's just this first test we're doing here pretty close to a draw the iphone 10s max wins some here and there the note 9 wins a lot of your everyday apps so productivity people gonna love the note 9 i think a little more than the 10s max people like gaming people who like more i would say of a smoother looking feel because i feel like the app's animation looks a little nicer on the iphone might prefer the iPhone XS Max. So pretty close to a draw. Let's get into the multitasking now. Okay, so all we're gonna do is run through them to see if we get any reloads. As a matter of fact, let me just go with one phone at a piece because all we're looking for is reloads. Here, it looks like we had a reload there on 2.2 Benchmark for the iPhone. Nothing there, and it held that. Jetpack Joyride, Slither. Let's go into eBay, and let's go into Amazon. Prime Video, that's open, YouTube, that's open whatsapp let's go to instagram see instagram was ready snapchat ready twitter ready clock calculator and calendar so great multitasking performance there for the iphone 10s max what about the camera here for the note 9 video shop a little bit slow on that one geekbench and tutu benchmark pubg mobile here's where that eight gigs of ram should shine for the note 9 Let's bring it into Jetpack Joyride. And sometimes it's just a little bit slow to respond here on that multitasking, but it still has everything open. So I just think the animations look a little faster when you reopen things for the iPhone. But the Galaxy Note 9 has nothing closed. So really great RAM management here for a Samsung device. And you could see everything looking good there. So pretty much a draw again in the multitasking, but you get true multitasking here for the Note 9, so you can actually split apps, you can put little apps in the windows, you can change the DPI settings and make this feel like a real computer in your hand. This is a lot more of a true multitasking phone, whereas this is more of a blown up iPhone with a mobile OS. Okay guys, here we are at internet speed test. Let's see which one is a little bit fast. Let's go to apple.com in three, two, let's go. And you could see that looks like the iPhone XS Max had that open. Let's click the XS Max here. You could see the XS Max looks a little faster there to load the page that might be a win to safari over samsung internet over here more say than the actual power of the phone let's go to samsung.com let's see if samsung can load their own site faster on their own phone that would be pretty lame if it didn't let's go into both of them three two one and you can see yes the note 9 wins on its own website that's a good thing because we didn't want the note 9 to lose on its own promotional website let's go into how about we go into mm, yahoo.com let's go to yahoo.com here and see what we get yaju yahoo.com today i typed it again yaju yahoo.com three two one and you can see boom that is the iphone 10s max so you know again it's pretty much a wash here in the internet browsing. These phones have reached a point of just very fast these days. Okay, so here we arrived at the video rendering portion for the Note 9, I have to do it this way. And it's a 35 second clip here for both devices. This was shot in 30 FPS for the iPhone XS Max. So we're just gonna hit gallery here in next to see which one can render this video out first. Three, two, one, and see which one is faster. So, whoa the iphone 10s max just destroys the note 9 here the video is ready 
and you can see over here looks like the no wow okay you got to give the iphone 10s max credit here this was a just absolute destruction on the video rendering test so if you're going to be doing some video editing on your phone be prepared to wait a little longer for the Note 9. Okay guys, so you can see here, the iPhone XS Max is definitely a blowout win here on both single and multi-core for Geekbench. But in conclusion, what is the overall gist of these two phones? I think that the XS Max, when you really get down to the most powerful stuff you can do on a phone, the processor on a XS Max is definitely ahead of the Note 9. But the Note 9 is not any slouch and it's very fast on the day to day and I can argue you're going to get more productivity out of the Note 9 than the 10s Max even though the 10s Max can support, you know, doing more computer like tasks, the OS doesn't support a computer like OS. So, you have a processor that doesn't really fully take advantage of what it can offer whereas the Note 9 does. But we'll talk more about those in a full comparison. Let's just quickly test the cameras 3 2 1 and you can see the iPhone a little bit ahead again, three. Let me go ahead and close them out before we retest them. Do the camera one more time, three, two, one. And we're gonna have to do a camera test as well. It looks like the iPhone is faster though. So what are your thoughts on these two? The iPhone XS Max versus the Galaxy Note 9. Which one do you think is better? Which one are you gonna go with? Or are, did you already go with one? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me.